Sunday as pressure mounts on the national chairman of the People's Democratic Party, PDP, which is secondus to vacate its seats. The state keeps the stakes keep getting higher against his resolve to trudge on. Last week, a sort of political coup was orchestrated against him when the PDP in Ward 5 of Ikiru Town in Adonai local government area, River State, suspended him. The PDP Ward Chairman, George Christopher, said 11 executive members out of 17 endorsed suspension of secondus from the party over his failure to attract developmental development to that um, area and inability to manage the party. Let's share some of the visuals with you. to the people here we are the people of what five pdp we came for our congress the, the war chairman called for congress to rectify some issues bothering the party in the world this is the war chairman this is the war secretary you can see your name sir Call your name. My yes. name is George Christopher, the Ward 5 Chairman PDP. My name is Ubulum Aaron Denny, Secretary ah. PDP Ward 5. The ESCOs here are 11 in number. And you can imagine 11 out of 17. They had six. My name is Office Kagban Christopher, the State Organizing Secretary of PDP. In this world, we have some names. The national chairman of PDP is from here. And when we find out that because of him, PDP is going down, we as a world, we came together and said, Sir, please, can you just step down? The leader of this party in the state is Chief Barisa Nyeso Wike. And whatever advice, whatever thing he asks, we will do it because he is the leader of the party in the state. First and foremost, I want to congratulate Prince Uche Secondos for his uh, wonderful heart that has led to his suspension from the party. You can mention my name anywhere as far as I'm concerned. And until further notice, I repeat, until further notice by us, our brother Prince Uche Secondos remain suspended. Yeah. Yeah. The affirmation of the suspension of Prince Uche Secondos, the world executive of the People's Democratic Party in Ward 5, Ikru Town, the leaders of the party and the general stakeholders of the world at a meeting held at the ward office in Ikru Town on the 31st of August 2021 discuss in depth issues that affect the party and how to reposition the prosper and prosper the party at the ward and unanimously adopted the following resolutions. One, that the suspension of Prince Uche Secondos was validly done by the ward executive after a duly constituted ward meeting called by the secretary on the instruction of the chairman according to the constitution of our great party. The party at the ward further reaffirmed that suspension, reaffirmed the suspension and thanked the party at the level at the local government level and state level for acting on the suspension. You know, this reminds me of what goes around and comes around. 
I remember going to the ward of Adam Sashomole <laughs> where his trouble started from. And I was looking at, oh, these people, they are too small to suspend a whole national chairman. Lo and behold, he didn't survive that onslaught. And I doubt if Richard Secondus will survive this onslaught. One day, succeed in going to your ward. <laughs> you, you know that. No, I think, I think uh, Secondus. And these are his people. He's gone. That was his hometown. Hmm. That was his hometown. Uh, I think he's gone. Um, Ikuru. That's his hometown, very far from uh, Port Harcourt. You see, Secondus is not, he's not even bothering himself that much anymore because many people thought he would try to preside over the neck meeting, but he just told the... Okay. Uh, yes, he told him to, to go and preside over the meeting. He's staying away, um, waiting to see whether the David Mark led committee can achieve some form of truth but it's looking like between him and the uh, um the governor of uh, river states that this thing has gone too far for, any of them, of no for either of them to look back so mm. it's the same thing that they did to shumale because when you are national chairman you mm. control the upper crust mm. of the party but the governor of the state mm controls the state right from the base. The world level. Yes, world level, you can hear what that guy said, that level. look, um, the uh, governor is the leader of the party, whatever he tells us to do, we do. Uh, at that point, his fate is sealed. It's as simple as that. Hmm. Okay. Yeah, but uh, PDP has 10 governors. How can one governor hold a whole national party hostage? I mean, even though Shomali was suspended in his world, but the appeal court has lifted the order. So what is just going on is one man trying to impose his will on the party. And of course, there, there, there's a school of thought that says that um, um, PDP neck members cannot be suspended by their word. So exactly what is Wiki pushing for? What exactly does he want PDP to do? And it's so dangerous. Go, go, you know, going close to the you know, 2023 elections, we're talking about PDP now um, engaging in... Um, membership registration and all that, you know. And then you are rocking the boat. You are shaking the foundation of the party. When will the party be able to come together and heal the rifts within? They prepare for a 2023 election. It's just, it's just um, unfortunate that uh, this is the kind of politics we play in Nigeria. But I think, I, think, I think all of this coming from just one state out of 10 states is not good enough. I mean, it, it, this should... These things can be resolved. These things can be resolved at the party level. Without, they've gone to court, tried different courts, now coming to his word. And at the end of the day, they should take cognizance of the fact that the appeal court in Abuja, you know, lifted the suspension on Oshomali. So if, uh, even if the word has suspended, he, and he goes to court, he fights his way up to the appeal court to speak, and they lift the suspension. Of what use will all of this be? They are just undermining the party and destabilizing the party. And it's not in the best interest of the PDP that this should be allowed to linger. All right. Kolawali, what do you make of uh, the crisis within the PDP? <laughs> it is political. <laughs> and you must understand the fact that they are taking a cue from what happened in APC. APC brought that template and they have used it. But beyond, beyond uh, Wiki, we must understand the fact that there are groups already within the party. And um, it is almost impossible for Wiki to act alone. Mm -hmm. Whatever you're saying is about 2023. And uh, I want to believe strongly that some, perhaps some groups who felt that secondos may not be able to uh, 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 to satisfy their interest actually pushed for this you can't take that away it is impossible for Wiki to act alone I think yes, yes, tens no, have been pitched already and they are playing the game that Wiki does not own the secondus must go trademark mm. <laughs> I said it before so he was not acting alone uh, there are many people who are not happy with him within the party. So it's just uh, those uh, elements of post to him coming together, using Wiki as the as the poster boy of mm. their second must go agitation. So it's, it's not acting alone. It's impossible to act alone. 
uh, in these matters. He has to get support. Even when he wanted to make Sekundu's chairman of the party, he had to reach out to people. I remember him talking to Dixon, the governor of Yerba then, and he told him, look, Sekundu's is your job brother. Why wouldn't you back your job brother? And uh, Dixon's hands were tied. Dixon mm. had to support him. Whereas mm. Dixon, Dixon had been supporting Adenio mm. before then. You know, we, we before mm. our eyes, I didn't know was his candidate, but he blackmailed him. I said, mm. ah, Secondo, he said, you're a job brother. Huh? So, you cannot... Uh, so, you want to remove him now? 